Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the Louis Vuitton Sour Wallet in the monogram print. So, let me get this out here. So this wallet is a replacement um, for one I've had for a while. Um, the original one I had, the glazing started to crack and the snap broke. So I reached out to Louis Vuitton. Um, they told me to send it in. They would take a look at it. They deemed that original one I had as defective and they sent me a new one. I've had this about two months. I've used it a couple times since then. Um, but again, I, I feel like these wallets are not very sturdy. Um, I feel like the glazing issue can happen again because it happened right here on the corner from constantly opening it. Um, it's, you know, just something to keep in mind. All right, so this wallet, um, it's an envelope wallet. It does have a pocket on the back. Right, and if I open it up inside, there's, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's four card slots here. There's six inside here. There's a large compartment here. There's six on the back. And this here is another pocket, um, which I didn't even notice at first. So that's good, like, to put receipts in and stuff. And then there's a coin pouch with 20 cents in it. Okay, so, um, yeah, it just has two large pockets, you know, some card slots, and then there's a pocket in the back here for, um, for your money. Right? And, oh, I also had it hot stamped. This time, um, when they replaced it, I only got my first initial. One thing I noticed with the hot stamp, and this is something to keep in mind, too. And again, I ordered this, you know, they replaced it over the phone, and a local store sent it out to me. So I wasn't in the store when they actually hot stamped it. But I noticed right on the other side, I don't know if you could see this, but there's like kind of like a little ripple here. And I think that happened when they hot stamped it. So just keep that in mind if you ever get anything hot stamped. Um with Louis Vuitton and this doesn't really bother me I'm not even gonna send it back for that so here you go and originally when I had it too this snap the inside of it broke so it wasn't staying closed right so that's the wallet there's the front there's the back it is a nice wallet I mean I like it one thing I have to say about Louis Vuitton I do love Louis Vuitton I do love the monogram print I have loved the monogram print since the 1980s um I don't think Louis Vuitton was even that popular back then. I mean, I know it was. It seems much more popular now. It seems like everybody has Louis Vuitton. But I've always been a fan of the monogram print, even way back then. So to me, it's more like, it's kind of like a sentimental thing, which is why, you know, I still have, or I've purchased pieces in the monogram print um, recently, like over the last couple of years. However, one thing I do want to say is I, you know, there's some other handbag brands out there that, you know, I know they copy Louis Vuitton. They're not as expensive. They're more just your basic designer brands, not luxury brands. But I feel like they're better quality. Um, it, again, like I said, it doesn't seem to bother me because I just, this is more like a sentimental thing for me because I have loved this print for so many years. But I just don't feel like the quality is really there with these. I don't think they're worth as much as they cost. Um, you can get a wallet for like two, three hundred dollars with much better quality, like full leather and all that. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, it is a beautiful wallet though. I do love it. I'm going to use it. I'm just can't use it all the time because I don't think it can hold up. And I just, you know, don't want the glazing issue to happen again. If you're looking at one of these, I would maybe go for like the zip around one because you shouldn't have a glazing issue with that. It's just because of the way this opens. But, you know, like I said, it's a beautiful wallet. I love it. I'm going to keep it. I just, you know, I'll use it. Just not, like, all the time because I don't want to have it get damaged again. All right? So that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please like this video if you like this kind of content, and I'll keep posting videos like this. Also, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. I will be posting videos constantly, especially now that, like, everybody seems to be home with this um, coronavirus, just kind of, like, get our minds off it. Um, and I do enjoy showing my collection to fellow bag lovers because I've always loved these kind of videos on YouTube. And it was just something to do in my, you know, free time. And it also you get ideas, see what you like. And yeah, so I just like it. I hope you guys like it too. Um, any questions, let me know and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.